What's up, YouTube? How y'all doing today? Happy Monday or whatever day it is when you see this video. All right, a I'm a husband. And hey, okay. I am coming to do another style video, but I'm having a conversation while I'm doing the style. Y'all, I called myself. This is just, this is what happened. This is what happened. I called myself. Gonna put my hair up in a bun. See, like, okay, so this... I don't know where these perfect ones be coming from, but I don't ever have one. I don't ever. I don't ever have a perfect bun. Ain't that way? Ain't that the way I'm supposed to say it? No. I'm on my channel. I'm going to say what I want to say. Sound. My sound crazy. Okay, so we're going to try it this way. It's going to be a little sloppy, but for what I need, I think we just, you know, we're going to have it sloppy, okay? That's what we're going to do. So, I wanted to take this time to just kind of, first of all, say to anybody out there who's having a bad day, things will get better, and um, just keep living through it. Keep living through it. There's something better on the other side, okay? That's the first thing I wanted to say. Um, second thing, I, I just want to make this video. I don't know if you guys know that, um, your girl is a pastor, right? Did not have any, 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 any clue or indication that it would ever happen. Didn't ask for it. Um, proud to be. Uh, sometimes I'm in, how can you say it? Sometimes I have imposter syndrome or whatever. Okay. Um, but when God calls you, who can say no? Who else can say no? Okay. I've been told that since I'm a woman, you know, I can't be a pastor. Let me bring y'all in right quick. Um, I've been hearing a lot of conversations and I, and I heard one and I it just, it, it messed with me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, one of my favorite, favorite YouTubers. Um, and it's not like I'm like, just hear me out. Um, was talking about a, a young lady who she was Christian and she said some bold and ignorant things. And I want to say this to all my Christian friends out there who um, like to bash people and they like to deflect and like to use your hurts to hurt other folks. You need to you need to cut that out for real. Alright, I'm just going to tell y'all a little story. We're going to call this video Church Hurt. And it's going to still be a style of video. Okay? Um, so I didn't always used to think the way I think now. But God had to show me, you know, who I really am. You know? Um, and for anybody who has been affected by Church Hurt or Church Folk or people who claim to be followers or followers of christ uh i, I want to apologize to you i wish i could apologize to you for that person but I, I really believe that's their responsibility my son keeps stealing my house shoes right in front of my face i just wanted to throw that out there <laughs> anyway that don't have nothing to do with nothing so let me see which one i'm gonna do first which one i'm gonna do first which one am i going to do first i think i'm gonna start with my uh we're going to call it a B-girl stance. I'm going to start with this hair. This is going to be two layers, y'all. So, um, I grew up in, uh, I'm going to just, I'm, I grew up in an apostolic church, okay? Holiness church, right? And, um, I, my church heart came when I went off to college Y'all know, you know, you don't get no freedom when you, young girl, you get off to college, baby, and you ain't got nobody to tell you what to do. Nobody. Not a soul. I'm just going to tuck this, y'all. I ain't about to tie it. Only reason I'm tucking it and not tying it is because this is not going to be the only one I put on. But you get that freedom, though. Girl, you going to do what you're going to do, Okay. No matter what your parents have taught you. That's why they say train up a child the way it should go. So whatever. Okay. So anyway, I had fun in college. 
Um, did good things, did bad things. Um, ended up getting pregnant with my son that I have now. And I don't know if I think I want to put it this way or, you know what? I think I ought to be fly. I think I'm going to do it this way, like this. I think I'm going to do it like this. Like this. Should I do it like that? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so anyway. Um, I think I'm going to keep that down. Or should I flatten it out? So I got pregnant and I called home. You know, I was actually pretty scared to tell everybody because you know when you had that baby out of wedlock you like the super center and like you went straight to hell that day i'm not trying to be funny i'm not trying to tell people how to live their life i'm just telling you how i felt in my situation so um if you want to hear it that's fine if not it's okay so um i invited some people because my friends at school was like you know what we're gonna throw a baby shower for you at school and so then when i got um home i'm from detroit when i got back home you know i was uh, sending out invitations and calling people i called my church family that i grew up with and the pastor told me we will not be attending your baby shower because you had your baby out of wedlock and yes ma'am that's what happened and because you had your baby out of wedlock, I don't want to give the other girls, um, it's a bad example to set by coming to your baby shower and celebrating you. Because we would be telling the other girls that they can have babies out of wedlock too. Hmm. Now, again, if you want to live your life the way you want to live your life, that's fine. I'm not telling nobody who believes that they shouldn't have sex before marriage. I'm not saying Please follow me, okay? You so you love God. You are. I'm trying to find earrings, y'all. You love God, and you are His representative. And <laughs> basically, you lead, right? And so, what you're doing is pretty much telling me, like, not only. Am I being shunned for it? But it's kind of like anybody who is at church, who's saved, who was born out of wedlock, what does that say about them? Whatever. Whatever. So, you know, I cried. I was kind of like, dang, you know, that's messed up. Um, I don't know. But let me let me stop and say this. I felt as if, now I feel like these match pretty good with this, okay? And I'm going to show y'all what shoes I will wear with, okay? But I feel like I struggled, you know what I'm saying? God already dealt with me with the things I was going through, all right? I don't know if y'all know, but like, the beginning stages when you have somebody, you're not married, maybe y'all not you know, getting loan, money, whatever, child support, all that stuff. That's enough punishment. Why put somebody else, why put somebody through? More like, who are you? Are you a judge? Are you God? You know? Yeah, he forgives. You have to deal with the consequences. But why, like, like spread it around like peanut butter? You know? That makes people not want to come to church no more. And, and that's just only one thing. That's that. That's what you're wearing, girl. That short skirt you got on. You don't believe exactly the way I believe. You don't. I don't believe God want us to be that way. I'm crazy enough to believe that one, down, one denomination, just one denomination, it's not just going to be one in heaven. I, I mean, you whatever you want to call me out or put a comment at the, in the video, whatever. I just feel like I'm going to just give an example. Like, for example, my girl Unity, she's out there. She talk at the end of her video, she always talk about 
picking up paper off the, you know, litter in your neighborhood. Go adopt a cat or something. You know what I'm saying? Do something good in your community. You got you got Christians that sitting at home doing nothing but beating people upside the head with the Bible and talking about what they ain't doing. But you got stuff going on in your life. You got stuff going on in your life, sis. Bruh. Pastors out there sleeping with the women in the church. People leaving the church because you trying to sleep with them. And then you got to nerve the nerve. All I'm saying is, ain't nobody perfect. So why are you going to act? Why? why are you pretending to be? I'm sorry. I don't mean to be getting angry. With this shoe right here. Sorry, I'm spitting. Can y'all imagine that with this shoe? I ain't worn these shoes yet. I'm finna go to Walmart. I need to get dressed up. We going to Walmart. Meet me at the clearance rack. Okay? Meet me at the clearance rack. So, insert outfit here. I, I don't even know what outfit I would wear with it. Girl, I'm just saying. With this hair wrap and these earrings, you can't, you can't really tell me nothing. You can't. Okay? So, let me hurry up because it's, this is it's um, 11 minutes in this video. But, I feel like this. Honestly. And people might say, you too liberal. You don't stand for nothing. You can say what you want to. Come see me. So I, and I'm serious about that. Come see me. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't one of them. I'm not a sucker, so I don't need a bodyguard. I'm just saying. Show y'all a favorite pair of my earrings right quick. I can't find the other one. Let me tell y'all, um, Gemini Sunshine made these earrings for me. They they were, I think it was like a pair of popular earrings she had. And, you know, I would just think about my son. I love him so much. And at the time, this, I got these earrings years ago. And I kept up with them. And now I can't find the other one. Do you know how sad I am? Oh, let, me, let me hurry up. I only got 15 minutes. I only got 15 minutes, y'all. Uh, YouTube won't even giving me 15 minutes on this iPhone. So, all I'm saying is, if you are going to have another pair um one of my favorite pair of earrings oh, i love these earrings you guys i told y'all i like wearable art i ain't, I ain't playing ain't nobody playing um all i'm saying is if you're gonna love everybody you need to love everybody come at me hello savon okay whatever whatever queen let's go like if if you're gonna be a representative, be a good one. I don't care what you what you believe in. Be a good representative. I think I wanna do that. Oh, I like that. Y'all like that? I mean, if you don't, that's the bad, because I'm keeping it like that. And actually I cut this. It used to be a um it used to be a infinity scarf. It had some beading on it and the beading came apart. I like this. I think I got another, uh, me, let me show y'all this other hair wrap right quick. Be a good representative, though, okay? Don't be out here, um, I had to just tell y'all a little bit, that was just a little bit of my church hurt story. And it's just funny that I went through that and still, and I'm like, I love God, this is your relationship with God, okay? Your relationship with the creator. Your relationship. And I know that um, Allah is another name for God. So, it's your relationship. Your relationship. Don't. I don't care what you look like. You are welcome to my channel. Okay? Come see me, girl. Come see me. I like this one. Got a little tie-dye. I think I got this. I feel like I got this one in Mexico. Or was it was it Jamaica? I don't remember. Look, out here... Girl, you out, out traveling without the, without the, without Corona. Girl, we ain't traveled in a while. So, yes. Yeah, I hope y'all like this. Y'all like this. Y'all tell me, like, what, what, what has happened, you know? Even if you call yourself a, a follower of Christ, and I say it like that for a reason. Again, come see me. You got some, I'm, I'm pull them off just like this. What you want to do? No, I'm playing. Okay, sorry y'all, my video cut off, but let me know if you want a part two. All right, talk to you later. Thanks for watching.